Okay, welcome back. We're now today going to create a hole through our automata base, and then we're going to hopefully create a shaft as a separate component. So let's get cracking. The first thing we need to do is select a surface, because at the moment we've got a three-dimensional object, and we want to create a hole through this side, going all the way down through that side. So I've clicked on a surface. I'm going to go sketch, create sketch, or I could just click on that button up there. And because I had this surface already selected, that's turned around and said, hey, you're going to draw on here. So the next thing I'm going to do is create a circle. I can either click on sketch and click down here, center circle, or if I press C on the keyboard, I can just draw a circle anywhere up here. So the circle diameter is going to be nine millimeters. So I'm pressing enter and enter again. Then I need to dimension this, so I need to lock it. Remember the extrusion here was 65 millimeters. So if I press the D key, dimension, or I could go down here and sketch dimension there, but I'm gonna just press the D key, see the mouse changes. So I've now got a little dimension tool on the mouse. Click once on the top surface, click second on there, and drag out, click again. So I want it halfway between here and here. That distance is 65. So I'm going to go 65, then divided by 2. Let them do the maths for you. All of you people who loves maths, there you go. So dimension tool is still enabled because you can see on the mouse it's still got that dimension tool thing. So click select sketch dimension and center of there going back up. And I'm going to make that 45, I think. Now maybe I'll make it 50 because that'll give us more room for our cam. All right. So that has now gone and created a circle on there. So I'm going to click Stop Sketch, and it comes back there. Or I could go up here and click the different viewpoint. Having done that, I'm now going to create an extrusion. The extrusion, the extrude window comes up. And the first thing it's going to say is select what I want to extrude. So I want to extrude that circle there. So click on there. You can see an arrow comes up. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this arrow. And I'm just going to drag it all the way till it goes through the whole thing. All right. So um, you'll notice it's gone 240. Remember, our base is about 200 millimeters. Now looking over on the extrude plane, the operation is cut. So you can see those are all the options. So I'm going to go cut. And I'm going to click OK. And I now have a hole. So if I go and click on here, hold the shift key down, no, hold the control key down, no, hold the alt key down, no, how do I do this? There we are. So uh, hold the shift key and then press the middle mouse and you can see there's a hole all the way through. And that's it. So let's go and save. So we're going to say, End of video hashtag two. Okay.